Hey there, it's Stephanie Shea, Chief Astrologer for JanSpiller.com with your monthly horoscope and this one is for you, Leo. Happy birthday! This is your special Leo August birthday horoscope. If your birthday was at the end of July, hope you had a great one. If it's coming up in August, have a wonderful birthday. The sun is going to be shining in your sign through August 21st, and that's really going to highlight your personal gifts. So the new moon is also in your sign on August 18th. And that signifies your astrological new year. It's a really important one to set your intentions, not just for the next moon cycle, but for your year ahead between now and your next birthday. Now, in general, August is going to have more forward momentum than other months, simply because we don't have inner planet retrogrades. And much of this year, we've had either Mercury or or Venus in retrograde. If you have felt like you're taking a step forward and two step back, you're not alone. That's been a bit of a mucky year. It's important to have these retrogrades, however, to help us slow down and reconsider what we're doing so we're not just on autopilot. However, <laughs> there is a time to move forward and this is going to be a good month to do it. Mars is still moving direct in Aries all month. This is forming a supportive trine to your sun sign. Aries is a fire sign, just like Leo. You're going to get a boost. And even though we've entered the shadow of Mars retrograde, um, it doesn't go retrograde till September 9th. So August is one of these months that I'm calling as good as it gets for new endeavors. So take some initial steps towards a goal. Prepare to refine your vision and build on your ideas in the fall. Now, education could figure prominently in your plans. This month's full moon is going to be in Aquarius. It's on August 3rd, and it's shining a light for Leo on partnership issues. Take time to notice what comes up around this date. The full moon usually gets our attention to something that needs to be addressed. It's a good full moon to balance the energies in a significant partnership and also review your agreements because you'll be able to see all sides of your situation more clearly. Um, if you were born on or around August 3rd of any year, you could gain recognition in the coming year for a personal or professional achievement that can often happen when the full moon is around your birthday. Now we've got Mercury moving into your sun sign on August 4th. And this is really supporting your self-expression. I would wait until after August 4th to initiate important conversations. You're going to be able to more easily find the right words when Mercury has moved into your sun sign. It'll feel a bit easier and more natural to say what you need to say. And the emotional intensity of that August 3rd full moon will have died down as well. <laughs> so that's a benefit. It's a great month to initiate creative projects and share your ideas with others. So definitely take advantage of that energy. We've got Venus moving into Cancer on August the 7th. This will shift the energy from the more chatty aspect of Venus in Gemini. Maybe there's been a lot of talk and conversation, either with friends or with your partner. It's possible that you'll be feeling a bit sensitive as Venus moves into Cancer, and you might want to take a break from social media or other forums where the information is just flying. Um, you know, if you have found yourself going down the internet wormholes, <laughs> um, Venus and Cancer may remind you to step back, go within. You might find some emotional comfort in music or other nurturing activities, such as cooking or maybe making your living space more peaceful in some way, dedicating little corner of your living area to uh, meditation or another spiritual pursuit that you practice. Now this month's new moon will be on August the 18th. It's at 26 degrees of Leo. 
If you were born on or around this date of any year, you're slated for some really big new beginnings in the year ahead. But all Leos can benefit from this new moon. Definitely set your intentions, not just for the coming uh, moon cycle, but for the whole year um, until your next birthday. This is a big one. Now the sun is going to enter Virgo on the 22nd. This will help you to organize your finances. You can use the end of the month to review business agreements or your budget. You'll probably have a really good eye for detail and catching things that may have slipped through the cracks. You're likely to feel motivated to get to work on a money-making idea. And it's also a great time to put your idealism into action. Consider volunteering to be of service in some way. So you can see there's a lot of potential in this month ahead. I hope you can make the most of it and have an excellent birthday month, a Leo season while the sun is in your sign and be well, take care. I'll see you back here next month with your horoscope.